I was going through the mundane motions of washing my hands in the bathroom at work one day, and I made eye contact with myself in the mirror. In my reflection, I saw the intense fear and hope that had been consuming me in the weeks prior as we began to unearth the medical mysteries behind why our nearly two-year-old twins were seemingly on different growth curves. I realized that I was undergoing a fundamental shift in my life, in motherhood. I had no idea what was ahead, but I could sense that it was going to be complex. I knew that I would be relying on the warehouse of resilience that I had built over my lifetime. Throughout my life, I had tragically lost family members and witnessed people I love overcome immense health challenges themselves. Then, I found myself navigating the world of IVF and fertility alongside my husband, Trevor. Eventually, we were lucky to have three kids in three years, and we were launched into parenthood, ready to take on whatever was thrown our way. I schlepped the kids into the doctor's office, hoping he would say there was nothing to be concerned about. Instead, out of an abundance of caution, he referred Simon to a pediatric orthopedic specialist. A few weeks later, we received a diagnosis for Simon, mucopolysaccharidosis type 4a, or Morchio syndrome. We began the massive task of comprehending what it meant to raise a child with a rare and progressive disease that has no cure. I've learned that filling my own cup is one of the most important ingredients to thriving in the face of life's twists and turns. Learning that there was a life-sustaining treatment available for Simon was reason for immense hope. What we didn't realize was that getting access to it was going to take a fight. After six months through a seemingly endless tangle of advocacy and strategic maneuvering, the expensive enzyme replacement therapy was approved. We waited another very long three months while the paperwork was finalized before we packed our bags for the four hour trip to the hospital. I laid next to Simon holding his hand as the nurse accessed his port for the first time and I watched as she hooked him up to the IV pole that would stay by his side for the next eight hours. I was relieved and overwhelmed all at the same time. I felt like we had reached the finish line only to realize within that same moment that our journey with this complex disease was just beginning. As I watched Simon play in his hospital bed, I knew that through always making time to laugh, we would thrive despite this being his reality every week for the rest of his life. We traveled back and forth for overnight trips to the hospital for six months. And now we are so grateful to have a nurse come to our home each week. The sad truth is that this enzyme therapy is by no means a cure. The onus is on us to help find one. It won't always be easy and we may never reach a finish line, but as we navigate the highs and lows, I know that our family will lean on each other, remember to laugh and together, we will thrive. Enjoy the magic of being alive. <laughs>